Dreamcatcher Interactive Inc. also known as Dreamcatcher Games was a Canadian video game publisher founded in 1996 by Richard Wa Khan. In 2006, the company became a subsidiary of Joewood Entertainment. In 2011, the company went into administration along with its parent Joewood and all assets were purchased by Nordic Games Holding. The Dreamcatcher Interactive brand is currently being used as a publishing label for THQ Nordic. History Dreamcatcher Interactive was founded in 1996 in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. The company's first title was the adventure game Soldier Boys, closely followed by Jewels of the Oracle, which achieved enough success to grow the retail business. Dreamcatcher would later release the Crystal Key which sold over a half million units in North America. Continuing the company's growth, in November 2000, Dreamcatcher signed with her interactive to publish the Nancy Drew franchise. In late 2002, most of the assets and development teams of French based publisher, Cryo Interactive, were absorbed by Dreamcatcher Interactive, forming the base for Dreamcatcher Europe, including key offices and a large internal studio. By early 2003, Dreamcatcher was the United States' tenth biggest publisher of games. After the acquisition of Cryo Interactive, Dreamcatcher created a publishing division called The Adventure Company in early 2003. The company also partnered with both Wanadu Edition and Microids, as well as other studios in the development and distribution of games including Siberia, Still Life and Obscure. In 2005, the main Microids studio was acquired by Ubisoft with Dreamcatcher retaining publishing rights to the games being created. The Adventure Company brand label under Dreamcatcher has released many adventure game series, including series based on Agatha Christie novels. They also recently signed to release a series of titles based on the Hardy Boys. Outside of adventure gaming, Dreamcatcher is best known for publishing the first person shooter Painkiller developed with People Can Fly. Painkiller became a commercial success and was signed with the Corporal World Tour 2005. Dreamcatcher would also create another label, Silverline Software, around 2004 for the distribution of some non-core games and the publishing of utility software. Silverline Software would release the ''Time to Ride'' series of girls' horse games starting in 2004, which would later be acquired by Ubisoft. In 2006, Joewood Entertainment announced the purchase of Dreamcatcher Games as a way of increasing their presence into the North American gaming market in addition to acquiring the company's key titles and licenses. Since the acquisition, Dreamcatcher Games has continued to launch titles both under the Adventure Company and Dreamcatcher labels including new games created by Joewood like the Spellforce series. In 2011, Joewood went into administration causing Dreamcatcher to file for bankruptcy. In November 2011, Nordic Games Holding announced that they had acquired all Dreamcatcher assets and would be turning it into a publishing label of their subsidiary Nordic Games. Nordic Games Holding had previously acquired Joewood and the Adventure Company in August also turning both brands into publishing labels of Nordic Games. All business operations of this brand are being conducted out of THQ Nordic AB in Vienna, Austria. Games Note, this list is for titles which Dreamcatcher Interactive published. Releases of games under the Adventure Company banner are not included. <laughs>